So my name is uh, Gerhard Mundinger. I go by Saul, which is a shortening of my middle name. Uh, I'm from the United States. I work at Louisiana State University Health Sciences Center. I'm a plastic surgeon with fellowship training in craniofacial surgery. Yeah, I've always enjoyed craniofacial surgery. Um, it's an incredibly powerful tool to change people's appearances. So for me, it was a natural extension of my technical interests in craniofacial surgery to apply it to, to gender affirmation, gender confirmation surgery. Um, I derive a lot of personal enjoyment from making big noticeable changes in the craniofacial skeleton. So in that sense for me, it was a, a natural extension given my interest in transgender health as well. I think the most interesting thing, again for me as a surgeon, was actually physically being able to be in the operating room. It's, it's, it's one thing to, to hear a talk about facial feminization surgery, to read about it, to do it yourself, but to be part of a team in the operating room um, at a center that focuses on it was a very, very important part for me of the, of the training course. Um, there are so many things you see in the operating room that you take back with you that are almost intangible and you, you don't have those things in your mind if you're not physically in the operating room scrubbed on a procedure and doing the case. Uh, I think it's, it's immediately applicable to my practice. Um, I think the biggest issue for me personally in my situation is the organization of the team um, because it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, but in terms of the technical aspects of the procedure, um, I feel completely ready, ready to go and it's really augmented my, my past knowledge on the subject. Um, but I thought the training course did an excellent job about dealing with setting up a team, all the things that happen outside of the operating room uh, that obviously everybody thinks about, but it's, for me in, in that aspect, it's great to feel like you have a community of people who have kind of gone before you and structured the team so you can learn from their past experience, potentially avoid mistakes in your own practice, and really think about how you can structure the team. And the, the more people get together and talk about that, I think the easier it gets for everybody to learn from collective experience. It really fit with my personal philosophy of openness, of collaboration, and sharing, um, which you don't really find at a lot of other centers that are, that are doing facial feminization surgery.